Thanks for helping me, Strawberry. Double the dresses is double the work. But dressing twins is so much fun. I can see it now. Little matching hats, twirly matching skirts. Yeah, no. I don't really do matching. Well, a girl can dream. Yes, this is so me. This is the one I want. Oh, this is it. Orange, I would love, love, love it if you could make me this dress. What do you think, Strobs? Up for a double dress challenge? You know it, Orange. I've always got your back. <laughs> <laughs> You know I hate it when people gush, but this dress is perfect. And you are a fashion uh, genius. Oh, I'm so glad. Thank you. I mean, you nailed it. Not everyone really gets my style, you know? It's just a little out there. I mean, I'm sure Sweet Grape's dress is totally different. Strawberry, <laughs> it's gorgeous. It's the same dress. That's awesome! Seriously? I can't believe this. Oh no, she seems really upset. I thought she changed her mind and wanted to surprise me. Looks like she's the one who got the surprise. It was just a coincidence. I'm sure she'll understand. I'll go talk to her. Sour grapes? Are you okay? Not even a little. I really wanted that dress. Now everything is ruined. You know it was just an accident that you picked the same dress, right? Just a weird twin brain thing. That's just it. It's not fair. I'm always getting grouped in with sweet grapes because we're twins. I want to be different, special. But you are special, and it's not because of your clothes. I just... I try so hard to do the opposite of what she does, but every time, we just end up being the same again. But isn't being yourself more important than being different from Sweet Grapes? By trying so hard to be different from her, you're actually basing your whole identity off your sister. Whoa. Like, if you didn't let yourself have fun because you wanted to be different, you're only hurting yourself. I never thought of it that way before. Maybe I don't have to work so hard at being different and I can just be... me. <laughs> Who wouldn't love that? And I get to wear this awesome dress after all. It would be an absolute fashion crime not to. <laughs> Thanks, Strawberry. What do you say we go find some sneakers or combat boots or something to go with this dress? Something very me. <laughs> Some extra special berry conditioning, uh, conditioner, to your new hairdo. Uh, 
Sure. Okay, Lemon. Now, Plum, just lie back and enjoy that eye mask. <laughs> Uh, it feels like you're rinsing me, not putting in conditioner. Well, it works best wet, you know. But why did you just dry our hair then? Um, relaxation? Let's just use the, uh, handheld dryer this time, okay? Is something wrong, Lemon? No! Why do you ask? <laughs> Kinda cute. Kinda? Aren't those the cutest, fattest, most adorable cheeks you've ever seen? Aw, hey little guy, hey sweetie. Hi there. Don't be scared, are you all by yourself? You're too little to be all alone. Oh, poor little guy. Oh, I'm sure he's fine and, uh, what are you doing? I'm taking him home. But someone's got to take care of him. Poor little guy. All alone in the big world. Come here, little guy. Orange, wait. We... Come on, little... What? You can trust me. Yeah, I won't hurt you. Uh. Huh? Hey. Orange, listen for a sec, okay? I'm listening, I'm listening, but he, <laughs> he's going to get away. <laughs> hey, that I just ask that you consider something. He might be cute and little now, but he's going to grow. And then he might be harder to take care of. You are most <laughs> you are most likely right, Strawberry. But you always say, even though we're bitty, we're capable of big <laughs> things. <laughs> I mean, someone's got to take care of him. <laughs> hey, where is he? Look, you see? He wants to come home with me. I think I'll name you... Butch. Butch? He looks like a butch. He looks like trouble. Cute as he is. But it's up to you, Orange. Aw, oh, come on, Strawberry. Don't you trust me? Of course, but... Well, I'm gonna prove it to you. I'm gonna take better care of this fish than any fish has ever been taken care of before. I'm going to feed you and read to you every night. <gasps> oh, I can't wait to read you my favorite stories. And we'll give you a beautiful home where you'll be safe and warm. Oh, I mean cool. <laughs> Just wait till you see. You're going to love it there. Welcome, everyone, to this year's Very Bitty Buggy Debbie. <laughs> Welcome the official Very Bitty Buggy Derby Driver! <laughs> Ladies, allow me to present our esteemed Derby Drivers. <sighs> oh no, they've forgotten how to do the introduction! Oh yeah, I remember now. Blueberry? Phew. Almost done. <gasps> I bet she forgot.
traditional ceremonial derby scepter, I hereby declare that the derby has begun! What a wonderful ceremony! Just like the old days. Thanks to you, Blueberry. I think you've shown the princess very good manners by so closely following the traditions of her favorite event. Thanks. I do feel I've made it up to the princess for my bad manners earlier. At least a little. <laughs> good morning, Berry Kim Bloom. Good morning, Strawberry Shortcake. What are you up to today? I'm creating ways to make flowers different sizes. Both very big and very small. Even if you don't have a whole lot of room, you can still have plenty of flowers in blue. <laughs> That's a very clever idea. Good morning, Raspberry. Oh. Hi, Strawberry. It certainly is a fine morning to enjoy the flowers. Oh. Well, I'm not just enjoying them. I'm going to make a new perfume with pieces of the petals. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. But it's going to be part of my new spring fashion line. My very best ever. So I want it to be really super special. Well, with all these flowers to choose from, you should have something really special in no time. Goodbye! Marmalade to fetch balls, but all she does is run off with them. I don't know where she goes, but when she comes back, the balls are gone. Huh? There you are. Where have you been? This is our last ball. Cinepup knows how to fetch. Maybe if she showed Marmalade how. That's a great idea, Cherry. Worth a try. Cinepop! Wanna play fetch the ball? Huh? 
Fetch the ball? Go get it, girl! Good, Good go! Catch. Uh, 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 uh. Hey! Marmalade! That isn't polite! <laughs> Marmalade? Where did you go? Marmalade! Oh, what has gotten into that puppy? Where does she go? You know, Strawberry helped me teach Cinepup how to fetch. Maybe if you asked her, she could help you with marmalade. I'll take her to see Strawberry. Soon as she comes back, that is. Marmalade! <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> see what I mean? Come on, you. We're going to visit Strawberry. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I love you, too. Come on. Want to see Strawberry? <gasps> Let's go see Strawberry. Okay, ready? And lift! <laughs> there. That's the front panel. Front panel of what, Raspberry? Oh, I didn't show you. You didn't see? Well, here, come here, come over here. <laughs> this is great. Uh, I know, I know. You don't have the words. Um, fabulous, maybe? Inspired? Tremendous? Cutting edge? <laughs> see, um, Orange appointed me fashion designer. I'm designing all the outfits for her and Tad. See, next week, she'll ride him in a dressage and jumping show with both of them sporting Raspberry's Frog Forward Fashions. <laughs> Orange says it'll be great publicity. You know, I'll probably, most likely, well, hopefully, well, maybe, you know, have, a, have my own pet apparel line in stores by next fall. Uh-huh. <laughs> dresses for us so quickly, Raspberry. They're beautiful. And so fancy. <laughs> Gee, well, thank you. I mean, it's just what I do. Where's Blueberry? What's she wearing? A lot of notes. Huh? Good evening, Mr. Bumblebee. My, you're looking well this evening. Uh, well, thank, thank you, Blueberry. You're also looking... Offer to shake hands. Oh, yeah. Blueberry, what are you doing? Good evening, Miss Pudding. My, you're looking well this evening. That's what you said to the postmaster. It's me, Plum. I just want to have the best manners possible so everything goes well. For the princess? Don't you think you're overdoing it just a little bit? When it comes to good manners, there's no such thing as overdoing it. Hi, Berry King Blue. Don't forget to shake hands. Huh? Uh. This is the Derby Ball, after all. We have to be proper. Raspberry, it's impolite not to wait your turn. But, uh... Jadybug told me to go ahead of her because she's still deciding. No, no, no. No bad manners at this ball. <laughs> Orange, what are you doing? Oh, uh, I'm just going to rest a second. Ooh, I was dancing my feet off out there. But, but you're slouching. That's not good manners. It isn't? Oh. Oh, it's okay. No one can see me. But somebody might. And what if it's the princess? There. Perfect. Psst. Plum, is your napkin in your lap? Uh, yes. Don't chew with your mouth open. Wasn't going to. No elbows on the table. Do you see them on the table? Be sure not to slurp your tea. Ugh. Anything else? Yes, sit up straight. Hey, where's Blueberry? She's busy, minding everybody else's manners. What's that? 
Well, you see, she's been running around correcting everyone's manners whenever they make a mistake. She corrected me before I even made a mistake. She really needs to relax. Hmm. Hi there, Blueberry. Enjoying the ball? Well, no. Why not? Oh, Strawberry. I'm just so worried someone is going to offend the princess with bad manners. I think you should just try to have fun. You don't need to worry about how things are going. Okay. Just as soon as I finish the chapter on the salad fork, the misunderstood utensil. to match the right kinds of sparkles. Let's try again. This time, blue goes first. Uh, you might want to sort of duck. to run the berry works. You know, you're right. Just show me what to do. I helped cause this problem. Now I'm gonna help fix it. I'll help too. Me too. Me too. Let's go, girls. All right. Raspberry, we're going to need more of your perfume. Uh, but the princess needs me to help run the berry works. And besides, I'm much too small to reach any of the flowers. That's not so. Even though we're bitty, we can do big things! Especially if some of the berrykins reach the flowers for you. Oh, I just thought of something. While we're running the berry works, who's going to run our shops? Fruit salad! Coming up as soon as I figure out how to make it! Hmm. Uh. Where's my waffle? Jim has the tea on table five. Here's the waffle board that Jim has. How do you make a waffle? Don't ask me. I've never cooked before. Neither have I. Not in place. On your mark. Get set. <laughs> <laughs> Marmalade, no! That's not a toy. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to teach her. <laughs> That's okay. Ready? On your mark. Get set. Go! So, wait. 
Do you think we're at the lake yet? Uh, for the tenth time, Earl, we're not at the lake yet. We'll know when we get to the lake. Well, how? I can't see where we're going. Uh, look down, Earl. What do you see? My feet. And what else? Your feet. Uh, what else, Earl? Rocks? Right! Rocks! When we get to the lake, we'll look down and see Lake! Hey! We're here! Just what it might be. Oh no. Tad doing his night croaking. How can we do our night sleeping? Maybe the croaking is just a stage and he'll grow out of it. That'll probably be the only thing he doesn't grow out of. Where's Orange? She turned in early. She was tired from chasing Tad around. Come on, girls. Let's think of a way to get him to go to sleep. Uh, hot milk. No, not that. Uh, a blanket. No, never mind. Hmm. Oh, a, a lullaby? Uh, no. Wait, what was that? Uh, a lullaby? Sing a lullaby to a frog. I like it. Good idea. Yeah. Close your eyes, little frog. Time to please stop your croaking. Pleasant dreams, little frog. Won't you finally go to sleep? Uh -oh. Huh? Who? What? Uh, is he? Shh, shh, shh. Let's go. Five minutes? It's been more like five hours. I wonder where she could be. Ugh, I need to get some light bulbs for my reading lamps. Still closed, huh? She was closed yesterday, too. I want to paint this beautiful tulip in the meadow, but I'm out of brushes. Well, I guess I'll just have to make a sculpture of the tulip instead. I wish you could sculpt me a light bulb. <laughs> Make sure this end stays shallow enough for Ted to get out. I wouldn't want him to hurt himself having to hop too much. Orange! What are you doing? Building a swimming pool for Ted. Isn't it great? Orange, um, promise to let me use it to teach water ballet classes if I help dig. <gasps> <laughs> I got to admit, Orange, you're sure giving him the best. Everything he needs. Uh-oh. Is this bad manners? <laughs> well, maybe, but I didn't mind. I'm sorry. The race was just so exciting, I forgot. I'm so glad you guys can understand and forgive me when I goof up. What can I say? That's what friends are for. 
<laughs> now that was the most fun I've had in ages. Somebody ought to tell the princess that we should do that every year. Did you hear that? The princess will be so happy. Hey, Blueberry, you know what else friends are for? <laughs> Celebrating when something great happens. <laughs> Club today. But Quilting Club is your favorite. Is something wrong? Yeah. This. I promised the princess I'd make waiters for all the Berrykins for their annual jam stomping. Dozens and dozens of them. And I thought it would be easy because the Berrykins are so small. But it turns out making something so small is actually so hard. You see, to make them watertight, they need little itty bitty teensy weensy stitches. Too tiny for my sewing machine. And they're so hard to see. Oh dear. Oh, that's too bad. Poor Raspberry. Oh. Oh dear. Oh, Raspberry. Oh. If only those bitty berrykins were the same size as us, at least then I could see what I'm doing. 